hello lovely loyalty welcome back to my channel so today i'll be talking about what a stay-at-home mom should do in order to avoid gaining so much weight in other words let me paraphrase it how to lose weight for a stay-at-home mom so you know when you are a stay-at-home mom it's very very difficult to lose weight your kitchen is at your mercy everything is at your dispense and sometimes we eat not because we are hungry but because we are at home and because it is within our reach so what do you do in order to avoid Getting so much weight while staying at home and not seeing your child or while staying at home and taking care of your children. So I think the first thing you have to be in mind is this. As a stay-at-home mom, if you plan your meals, it will help you to go a long way helping you to stay lean. Because this planning will help you to know ahead of the week what you're supposed to eat and how you're supposed to prepare it and what you need in order to prepare those meals. By planning here, I mean you plan your meals weekly, not monthly, weekly. And at the end of the week, you now make another plan. Because those plans will help you to know exactly the things you need to buy. And when you know the things you need to buy, it will help you to avoid buying the unnecessary things that we normally stock in our refrigerators that at the end, sometimes it will end in the doors bin. Sometimes we'll end up not even making use of it at all. So the second is this, form the habit of drinking a lot of water. Yeah, you're not hearing it for the first time. When you form the habit of drinking a lot of water, it will help you to stay full for a long time. And even when you want to eat, let's say you want to take your fruits or your, your, your breakfast, uh, you drink a cup of water before taking your breakfast. If you are the type that like drinking water, I think two cups of water will do. You drink two cups of water before taking your breakfast. And during the afternoon when you want to take your lunch, you also drink some cups of water before taking your uh, lunch and in the evening for dinner you also do the same and when you drink water before taking your um your meal that water will help you to get easily filled up and when you're filled up you find out that uh, you will not eat so much and anytime that you feel the need to eat sometimes it's not food that your body needs sometimes your body needs water and not food so form the habit of drinking a lot of water so another point you need to know is this um diet diet all over the place in the internet facebook wherever keto or keto whatever it's called in my opinion it is not too necessary what is necessary is this for you to maintain a healthy eating a healthy eating lifestyle when you are already maintaining a healthy eating lifestyle then you have nothing to fear about you don't have anything to worry about because you're already maintaining a healthy eating lifestyle. So, though the healthy eating lifestyle that you're maintaining will help you to maintain your weight. It will help you to manage your weight. It will help you to manage your eating. And when you're already into this habit of eating healthy, my dear, you don't have anything to bother about. You don't have anything to fear. And believe you me, when you do 
or embark on a healthy eating lifestyle. You save your body from breaking down. You've done something good to your body. Please, why don't you try doing that? Forget about diet, uh, dieting. It's not too important. What is important is maintaining a healthy eating lifestyle. So, another thing you have to know is this. Moving your body. To eat is not enough, but you have to move the body. Sometimes our body needs to be moved. Our body needs to be trained. Our body needs to be exercised. Move your body. Do the things you love doing. If it is dancing, it is also an exercise. It is walking, please go outside and take a long walk. If the weather is so cold that you cannot afford to stay or to take a walk, you can just dress yourself warm. Pack yourself up. Put on a hand, a hand gloves. Just put on gloves and just open the door. Go outside. Take fresh air. You find out that you feel good. You find out that you've also trained your body. You, you must not go to a, 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 a sport a studio if you don't want to. You must just go to a gym if you don't want to. Or if you don't have the money. You can make the friendly environment that we have outside there your gene go out there it's free you don't need to pay anybody just go out take a long walk or go for jogging if you can arrange with your friends there must be one or two of your friends who have this who are like minds like you get into discussion with those people engage yourself in something doing something good for your body go outside my friends where you're going to jog or to jogging or going for a walk you'll see some people who are also taking walk or jogging you can try and talk to them who knows you'll make a good friend somebody who will motivate you somebody who will come and also knock at your door to invite you do that you're doing something for your health another thing is this um we should lay good examples for our kids if you're the type of mother that lies uh you know eating a uh, frozen food foods from um refrigerator you're the type that like just bringing it out and just putting it in the microwave and, and pressing a, a button and everything will be warm for you to start eating immediately you know you don't prefer cooking your own food then i think um there, there's a problem there something you have to know is this sometimes all those food that we are uh buying from um froze, uh, all those frozen foods that we are buying that are not good for us that are not so healthy for us and again not only that we'll eat it we'll eat and also give to our children and that is not healthy and that is not healthy we should lay good examples for our kids we should form the habit of cooking food and for the fact that you are a stay-at-home mother i think you're in the best position you're in a very good position to cook food so why don't you cook food and when you cook food you find out that it, there is it, cooking food is really fun it's fun to cook food you find out that it's really fun cooking food and who knows you you might be one of the people that will invent a particular food that we have never known before try cooking food and try when cooking food try to play with colors you know um like peppers there are some peppers that are red that's some that are green that's some that are yellow you know try playing with all these colors so that when you present your food it will be so colorful that somebody will you know the eyes will start eating before the mouth will start uh, will taste it something like that so uh i believe that if you cook your food it will help you to stay how they too you save yourself from so many visits um to the hospitals and again um 
If you stay at home mom, please avoid spontaneous eating. Some people call it impulse eating. Some people call it boredom eating. Whatever they call it at all, I call it spontaneous eating. You eat immediately because you are, you know, you're stressed off because you, your, 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 your senses didn't tell you of any other thing apart from go and eat. There's something in that fridge. Go open it and eat. You know, you open, you grab. You grab food from your 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 cupboard. You grab food from the refrigerator. You grab food from the your the your, um the fridge. You know. You do those things, not really because you are hungry. You do it because you're stressed up sometimes from the housework, from the stress from the children, the stress from the children's appointment. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> you know, if you are stressed up, try playing music, try listening to one, try meditation, you know, try quiet time. It will help you. Food is the wrong answer. And again, is this um, when you um, cook food for yourself, you avoid eating all those chemicals that are stored in our food as uh, preservative or conservative, whatever they call it. Then Please, please, please try and move your body. So as a stay-at-home mom, you really need to involve yourself with things that will always make you to a sort of <clears throat> a sort of to remove your mind from food. And my best tip is this when you plan your meals, you buy the things that you need for that week that you plan that meal, all the necessary things that you need to cook that food. Don't buy anything extra because if you buy uh, extra things or junk food, then you will fall back. Then you'll find it difficult to control yourself. I believe that if those things are not there, after some time, your mind will be off from there. If those things are not there, if they are not available, and sometimes when you think about taking a walk or taking a drive to that store or to the grocery, you say, okay, tomorrow. And when tomorrow comes, you say the next day. When the next day comes, you say the next day. You know, something like that. You keep on postponing it. And that postponing or buying all those things will also help you to stay lean. So you you now see what I'm, where I'm heading to. What I mean is this, please... Stop buying unnecessary things. Stop buying junk food. You don't need them. Because if you don't buy them, they won't be available to you. If you don't buy them, you cannot grab easily grab them. So that is it. So thank you for coming by. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you. Please leave a comment. Say hi. And don't forget to give me a thumb up. And then, for those of you who are just visiting my channel for the first time, uh -huh, please subscribe and God bless you.